This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hello and happy Friday. God bless you. And I thank God for you tuning in. This is what I like to call the pastoral moment. This is the time I get to enlighten you and encourage you with the word of God. And today I want to talk about new beginnings. Of course, new beginnings, because we're about to walk into a new year. If God say the same. So today is New Year's Eve and we're about to walk into a new year. So I want to talk about new beginnings. New beginnings, new creations. Our God is a God of all things new. His word tells us that each of us are new creations in him. If we are, are, if we are in Christ and we are followers of Christ, he is making us new. And God's timing may not be ours. It may not happen as quickly as we would like, right? And so here are a few verses for new beginnings. Forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up and do not perceive it. I am making a way in the wilderness, into streams, in the wasteland. And that's Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18, 19. God tells us, even in the Old Testament, that he is doing a new thing. Isn't that a blessing? Isn't that good news to know that? A new thing is a good thing. It's always a good thing, a new thing. He is making a way for us in the wilderness and he has given us streams of living water in times we are in the wastelands. So thank God for that. And then he put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. And that's Psalm 40, verse 3. The Psalms are full of praise and singing new songs to God. We, when, when, and the thing about it, when, when we find your, when you find yourself in a scared new place, sing a new song of praise to our God. Praise is our weapon against the enemy and fear. So sing praises, sing praises when you feel that way. Give God praise, give him worship, give him glory. He deserves the worship. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. He deserves everything. Give him praise. He is our God and he's the God that we serve. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. And that's Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 22 through 24. He, here we see the uh, beauty of a new day. A new morning, new mercies awaits us. And we see that they are new every morning, thus acknowledging that we are on this journey. And it's not a one time fix all. Today is a new day. So let's be grateful. Let's be thankful. Let's give God the praise and the glory. Let's worship him. Let's sing to him and let's edify one another and keep each other lifted in prayer. And then the days are coming. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. That's Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 31. The new covenant was given to us through the blood of Jesus. This is our hope. The newness is our inheritance. Isn't it a blessing to know that the newness is your inheritance? Because we are the seed of Abraham spiritually. Jesus is the truest gift of newness in our lives. Newness of heart, newness of eternity, from death to life. And then we have, you were taught with regard to our former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So we are taught with regard to your former way of, to, of life to put off. It's time to put off the old self. You've been that way long enough. Put off your old self, your deceitful desires, and walk in a new attitude. Walk with a new mindset this year. Do better. Start all over. It's never too late. Start all over. That's Ephesians chapter 4, verses 22 through 24. So start all over. Do better. This is what we do with the new life in Christ. We put off the old ways and we allow God to make us over in our new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. And then our last one is, but the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar and the elements will be destroyed by fire and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and speed and the speed is coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire and the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with this promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. And that's 2 Peter 
chapter 3, verses 10 through 13. So none of us knows the day or the moment, the hour when Jesus is coming back for his beloved bride, which is us, the church. Then we have, do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, uh, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. And that's Colossians, the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 9 through 11. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from, uh, who you've been or what others think. We all fall short of God's glory. We all have been at one point of time working for the enemy at one point of time. None of us was say, always saved. And so Christ is all in all. We are putting off the old self and putting on the new self. We are being renewed in Christ daily. Isn't that awesome to be renewed in Christ daily? As the outer man is perishing, the inner man is being renewed day by day. So there's a newness. And so there should be a growth, a growth in your life every single day. Everyone should see it. Whoever you're around every day, your wife, your husband, your family, they should see some type of growth every single day. You should see growth in your life. And if you don't see growth, if you're dealing with the same issues you've been dealing with forever, if the people, if people around you that know you've been telling you the same thing over and over and over for years and years to come, I mean over and repeatedly, and it's been redundant, I'm telling you it's time for a change. Really look up scriptures and really work on yourself. It's time for a change. And I'm telling you, it's time to walk in newness. So it's time to walk in newness. Let's get it right. Let's walk in new newness. Let's start um, 2022 off right and let's walk in newness. Let's, let, we want better. We want betterment. We want our life to be better. We want a great challenge in our life. We want the challenge of doing better and walking more like Christ, to be more like Christ, to follow Paul while he followed Christ. So that's what we should be doing. God bless you and I thank you so much. And remember to walk in newness. Please walk in newness. I pray that you would encourage and enlighten with the word of God. And Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. God bless you. And um, tune in Sunday for the word of God. It's going to be powerful. Please tune in. God bless you so much. And we at True Vine, we love you. We thank you for all your support. For we are the church of love. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church, 1407 Grove Street, Houston, Texas, 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.